with the temperatures rising, maybe it's time to change up your everyday recipes to perfect them for the warmer weather. Registered dietitian Michelle Jalen has a couple of new ideas to try for healthy summer eating. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Hey, great, Kelly. It's so great to see you today. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, what did, what did you bring for us today? What do you have? Yes, yeah, so today I have two recipes that use ingredients that are local, that are delicious, and the first recipe I have is a cold sesame uh, spaghetti salad. And what it, it's also plant-based, it's light. It's actually inspired by a recipe that my aunt, like a chow mein recipe my aunt used to bring to family gatherings. So I'm gonna show you how I make it. And for this recipe, I start with my ingredients there and I'm gonna make my dressing first. So I'm gonna start with some olive oil. I've got some sesame oil. I add chili powder for a little bit of extra kick. I also got some sweetness there in the form of maple syrup. And this recipe will be on chch.com. I'm gonna prepare my pasta and I'm also gonna add in some edamame because it adds some extra fiber and protein. And then I'm just gonna add my dressing back in and as well as some vegetables. Here I'm using some red peppers as well as cilantro. And I'm gonna to top it off with some crushed peanuts as well as green onions. And I'm gonna serve it with sesame seeds. Now this recipe, is great because a lot of times too we think about salad we always think about like leafy things but this is a salad that uses grains it uses whole grains whole grains have a lot of great nutritional benefits for us they have fiber for gut health they have b vitamins for our body's functions and as well as iron for growth and development and in our province we have 28,000 grain farmers that produce local grains for us so it's also local also delicious and very nutritious and a great recipe to share at a family picnic or at a barbecue. It also is very good if you make it ahead of time because there's no leafy greens in it so that it actually tastes better, I find, like two days later. Oh yeah, a pasta salad hands down way better than leafy green salad, that's for sure. And Michelle, what, what makes a, a recipe, you know, summer inspired or good for the summertime? Yes, so I find uh, colder recipes are great and also recipes that require less cooking. So. This recipe and my next recipe, they don't require as much heat and cooking because we don't always want to cook as much in the summer. We just want to assemble things together that are easy and delicious. So my next recipe I have is a tofu summer salad. And I always say, forget everything you know about tofu. This is a really flavorful, delicious recipe. And I'll show you how I make it. So I have my ingredients there and I'm going to start by actually blanching my snow peas. And then after that, I'm going to assemble my marinade. I have a sweet chili sauce there. I've got some grated ginger as well as some garlic. And I'm gonna add some low sodium soy sauce and some sesame oil. And I'm gonna mix those things together and I'm gonna add in my tofu. Now I use extra firm tofu and the secret to getting flavorful tofu is to make sure you drain it and you press it so that you get all the liquid out and so it absorbs the flavor of the marinade. And I'm just gonna assemble everything together. I got some red cabbage and some carrots as well, mix that together. And then when I go to serve it, I'm gonna serve it with some chopped peanuts on top. Now, most tofu products that you see in the grocery store are produced by local Ontario soybean growers. They are the leading producer of soybeans in all of Canada. And there's a lot of myths and misinformation about soy. A lot of people think that it's bland, it wrecks your thyroid, it's men might avoid, avoid it because they think it makes them effeminate, but it doesn't do any of those things. It's actually a very good protein food that is affordable as well, especially great at this time when we see food prices going up. And Michelle, what are some easy ways to make healthy eating more flavorful, more enjoyable? So I actually have this secret when I cook food is I always want to have different tastes. And so I like to have a, a, a salty taste, a sweet taste, one that's slightly bitter and one that's sour. So once you have all those flavors and you have them in both recipes, then it hits all the different parts of your tongue and it makes it things really delicious and really yummy. The other thing I like to say is don't be afraid of things like dips or dresses and stuff. If it helps you to eat more vegetables and more whole grains and more healthy products like tofu, which is also a complete protein with all amino acids, then go for it, then, then do it, why not, right? Amazing. Michelle Jalen, a, a dietitian, thank you for joining us and all those recipes will be on chch.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kelly.